Hey friends, me Jenny here today with a quick tip for you. If you've created a 3D model from scratch and you would like to see what it looks like with different character animations on it without having to go through all that rigging and skinning madness, then I definitely recommend this site. It's called Mixamo.com. And if you go here, you'll see that there are characters to choose from and so many different awesome characters and you can sample any of these characters with the animations and download them for free or if you want to just go over here to the animations tab then you can upload your own character and it's as easy as going here upload character select your file here's a 3d woman that I modeled a while back Anyone that's just getting into 3D modeling and stuff like that, then you know that it takes quite a bit of effort just to get the model created, but skinning and rigging a character is a whole other story. So um, on Mixamo, all you gotta do is load your model and then you drag these where they belong. You'll see in the corner it kinda zooms in for you. So there's the chin, here's the wrists, here's the elbows. Here's the knees. And last but not least, the groin. <laughs> so yeah, you just drag these where they belong on your character. And then it just does the rigging for you. So yeah, I have spent so much time uh, learning how to do rigging and skinning. And I'm still not the best. So lately, um, if I make a character, this is a good option. Because if you want to get your character in a game engine such as Unity, it just makes the whole process that much easier. And once you have the animations downloaded, then it'll be, you know, you'll just be that much closer to getting your character working in Unity uh, or Unreal or whatever engine you're using. And I'm pretty positive that the animations also work in Blender or 3D Max. So yeah, bam, my character is already rigged and animated. Now, once we press next a couple times here, you can preview any of these animations with your own character. So uh, you got dancing, you can get idle. Personally, if uh, you're going to put your character into Unity, I would recommend getting a few classic animations, like idle is the most common. Um, you'll definitely want idle animation. Usually it's, you know, just breathing and standing. <laughs> so they're not totally stiff. So um, idle, um, walking, and yeah, some of them are male or female. Uh, the female animations are the red ones and then the blue ones are the male. But I'm sure a lot of them cross over and would work for either. Catwalk walking. <laughs> if you want your character to look like they're on the catwalk. Super cute, right? <laughs> so yeah, then um, all you got- oh, and you can adjust these as well. Less sassy, please. <laughs> Stride. I mean, you can just mess around with these and see how you want them. Then it's as easy as pressing download. Over here, you can mess around with these and see if you want to download it with your character's skin or without. I believe that if you click on without, that's just the animation without the skin. Um, but you can just put it with skin for you know good measure if you want. They have a couple different options here. Um, I've usually just used the FBX here, but the FBX for Unity probably works just as fine. And then you just download it. Once you have that saved, then the cool part is um, then you can just uh, get Unity. If you don't already have Unity, then it's super easy to download it and install. Um, I would say the most difficult part about that is just making sure that you have a computer. <laughs> uh, I personally use an affordable gaming laptop, which works really well for things such as Unity. So then you just go to your downloads and you'll find your Catwalk FBX right there. And yeah, then the next step would be to uh, get your animation in Unity. If you don't already have Unity, then just go to unity3d.com and up here at the top right corner there's Get Unity. Just click on that. And they have the Plus and Pro versions, but you can just as easily use the free version. So I always recommend this to people interested in getting into game development and you haven't really tried it yet. Unity has so many different tutorials, both by the actual company of Unity, as well as a wide array of YouTubers who just have entire collections full of tutorials. So you can just go here, um, try personal, 
I already have it, so I actually don't have to do this, but um, if you, for whatever reason, need different versions of Unity, then you might want to try the Unity Hub, which is basically an organizer for different versions of Unity, but you don't necessarily need that. You can just go here to the download installer for Windows. It just starts the download. You can save the file. I already have the, all this, so I don't need to do this, but um, basically you would just save it and then you would open it. Then there's like the um, download installer. You just click on the executable and it'll go ahead and install. It's usually pretty smart, so wherever your programs go is where Unity will go, but you can choose somewhere else to install it if you want. I personally have a solid state hard drive for my laptop and that's where I like to install my programs such as Unity because then it loads up faster every time I go to use it. So yeah, once you downloaded it, it'll just automatically take you to some tutorials and stuff. I definitely recommend checking out the Unity Asset Store as well because that's where you can download so many different cool assets. Lots of them are affordable, but there's just as many free assets as well. Say you want, like, okay, I'll just show you an example of how to go for, um, how about like just environment. So you go to um, search for environments for your first project, and then you go here to the price area and just go zero dollars, please. <laughs> and click apply and then the search results will show up all the free environments. And same thing with characters, there's a lot of free stuff on Unity Asset Store. So um, it's definitely one of my favorite free resources out there for game development. To install environment, you can get all this low poly stuff. But I mean we started with the Mixamo pointer, so you probably already know how to make some assets like a character. This is just like... The type of thing that you would be interested in if you want an environment to put your character into. There's just like endless amount of cool resources on here. And the Unity Asset Store is actually user content, user created content. So technically anyone can make their own assets and then put them up on the Asset Store. But it does go through an approval process and there's quite a bit of competition. There's a lot of good assets on here so it's got to be good quality. which is awesome for the user um, looking for assets and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so pretty much those are my first tips for you. Um, if you got a character, you want to animate it, but you don't want to rig it and skin it just yet, then Mixamo. Definitely try out Mixamo Friends, it's so much fun. And if you, uh, whether or not you already have Unity, um, I definitely recommend the resources that Unity has to offer. Last but not least, I'll just show you how to get that character that you downloaded with the animations from Mixamo into Unity. So you just open up your installed Unity software and then go to New. And this could be whatever um, example. Okay, so we've got Unity open. Now all you have to do is drag the FBX that you downloaded off of Mixamo here into the project window. And if you open up that folder, you'll see that there's the body mesh, there's the rigged um, portion from Mixamo, like uh, the hips and whatnot. I think that's like the root. Here is the animation. So then you would drag the top part of that folder here into the hierarchy. And bam! There she is. So we've got our character in the scene view. And if you have it highlighted right here, you'll see that there's no animator. So you need to right click on the project window and create animator controller. And you can name it whatever woman, uh, I'm just gonna name mine woman. So you'll drag and drop the woman animator controller into the controller section. And um, if you forget where that is in your project window, then you just click on it and it'll highlight. So then double click on the woman right here, uh, animator controller. And just make sure that the animation or animations that you downloaded from Mixamo, um, you just drop them here into the animator window. You can drag it down here or wherever is most comfortable for you. Um, you'll see that it's orange. That means that it's the default animation. And when you have multiple animations, then you can drop them each in here and then right click on the other, whichever one you want to be default, you'll right click and click default on which, whichever one, usually it's the idle animation. So, let's see here. 
I believe that should work. We have our animation marked as humanoid. We'll see what happens when we press play. <laughs> okay, cool. There she is. Uh, animated. Uh, you'll want to loop that animation. I've done this a bunch, but I often have to like uh, just refresh my memory. And loop time. Just click on loop time. And then uh, we can see it should just uh, continue to animate even after. Oh, nope. <laughs> Alright, there she goes. Alright, cool. So. So, yeah, some settings, once you change them, like we clicked on loop time right here, you just gotta remember to come down and click apply. Uh, sometimes you gotta apply those settings before they will work. So, um, if you want to see the scene view and the game view at the same time, you can just drag your window over like that. That way we can check and make sure that when she walks off the screen in the game view that she's still looping that animation. You can see that she'll just keep on going into infinity <laughs> perfectly. Alright, sweet friends, so uh, this is really fun. I'm still learning all the time, but these are just a couple of quick tips that I thought would be really useful for anyone who has their first 3D models, they want to get them animated and working in Unity, or if you're new to Unity and you want to mess around with some character animations, um, there's so many different things that are possible in Unity and, well, any game development software, but <laughs> in general it's just really fun. I love how it's in real time, unlike video editing or like animation in um, 3D Max or Blender or even After Effects, a lot of the times you gotta wait for render time, which is not nearly as bad with more modern computers, but back in the day when I was learning um, After Effects, I would just have to wait all day for an animation to render, so Unity is so cool. <laughs> I recommend it, and if you have any questions or any of the quick tips you would like to see me create for my channel or just for fun, let me know. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye, friends!